least drinkable fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I need a photograph of this. <laughs> a photograph of what? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. <sighs> oh. Did we play it straight enough? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I had absolutely no clue. Why are they asterisks? I think they're stars. Uh, <laughs> Super Mario asterisks. Okay, we got a one-up mushroom. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Let's think about this. Uh, um, a fire? Oh, is this Princess Peach? Is that supposed to be blonde hair? <laughs> I believe that's a question mark black. Oh, fuck, you're right. Yeah. Okay. And I think that the red wow. one is also a mushroom, if I'm not mistaken. The red? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> not really. Yeah, they, they nailed the mushrooms on the other ones. So yeah, the like, one on mushrooms to be? A+. Plus. <laughs> Question mark blocks are really deformed. Yeah, they're just sort of like, f not even fish hooks. Oh, it's a Mario hat. That's what the red one is. Oh, uh, okay, Mario hat. Is it like... Uh, cause, but it sort of looks like... <laughs> What are those hats that like detectives wear in New York stories in like New York? Like, like a, a fedora. fedora or a trilby? No, 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 no. Right, the, too extreme. Like a. You mean like a like, like a beret, but not a beret. The ones with the brim. Like using your hat as an example, it's like where the floppy part of the hat like comes down and like attaches all the way to the front of the yeah, brim. Yeah, yeah. I, oh. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. 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 My dad wears either. those. <laughs> My dad is also a detective in a noir story. Yeah, let's see. I always think of it as like a paper boy hat. Yeah. Yeah, paper yeah. boys would wear this, these hats. Like a cockney paper boy. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> mm. Nintendo. It's for breakfast now. Nintendo. It's a cereal. Wow. Uh, good morning, <laughs> and welcome to No Clip. I'm Chad Rutherman. <laughs> I'm JJ Artimez. And I'm eating cereal. And today. Well, fuck, that kind of spoils <laughs> it, doesn't it? <laughs> uh. This lovely morning at 12.03 p.m., uh, <laughs> we're going to be talking about Super Mario cereal. Uh, so what do you think? Um, hold on. Mm. Initial mouthfeel. It's kind of spiky. Yeah, it's got a bit of a Captain Crunch issue. <laughs> Where, like, the pieces of cereal themselves are a little bit too hard. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. It's like, it, it, this is the reason that you don't shape uh, them, like, you don't shape actual cereal pieces like Asterix. It's because they're all, like, little like, cattle prods now. They're not, they're not terrible. Like, I think the thing that makes cattle prods uncomfortable is that they're electrified. <laughs> no, no, no. Not that they're pointy. <laughs> That's because the cereal is electric, Chad. Oh, okay. Right. But what, what's the name of the spurs? That's what mm. those things are called. Spurs. So, what would you call like generic like cereal like flavor like some kind of corn? Puffed corn. Yeah. Yeah. And so it tastes. It's a grain though. This yeah. is a grain cereal. Oh d damn! It tastes like stronger in that regard than like Lucky Charms. Mm -hmm. And also, like, the marshmallows taste, like, sugarier. It's, like, a more extremely flavored Lucky Charms. That's what I was saying. I feel like this actually has a leg up on Lucky Charms, mm -hmm. but there aren't as many marshmallows, it's, which is causing a problem. It's not as nuanced <laughs> as Lucky Charms. <laughs> it's not as subtle. Mm. Now, do you guys have, like, a cereal preference generally? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not really. <laughs> I've moved real hard into, like, the honey bunches of oats and like raisin bran crunch style of cereal. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. have lots of like granola flake mixes, and the sugar is all like honey glazes and stuff, and not like marshmallows or. So you've gone like full old person. No, 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 no. Full old person is where there's no sugar at all. It's not honey bunches of oats. Full old person. It's would just be, it's a bunch of oats. It'd be bunches of oats. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's not raisin bran crunch. It's just raisin bran. Correct. All right. Yeah. I still need the crunch. I need I need the like sweet granola flang. Yeah. Flang. <laughs> I've never been much. Of a cereal person because I'm weird and I'm not a breakfast person. Right. Mm -hmm. So, 
Uh, yeah. You don't have the experience needed to review this no, I don't. properly. I feel like, because I've never really been much of a Lucky Charms guy. Uh, when I was a kid, Lucky Charms was my favorite. Uh, Until I had Count Chocula, and that was my favorite. <laughs> I have, like, a thing for cereals that come as, like, uh, round, like, like ball-shaped, like, new tricks. Uh, Peanut Butter Crunch was Reese's a big Puffs. one for me. Oh, okay. Reese's Puffs. Um, but I also really like... Captain uh, Crunch, Oops, All There. <laughs> <laughs> Even, I feel like that came out when I was, like, nine. Mm-hmm. And when I saw it, I remember as a child being like, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And I think that for, I knew from that point on that that was going to be a persistent joke throughout my life. It was oops all varies or oops all something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I think uh, the Super Mario cereal, though, I mean, it's closer to like a 2D Mario game than a 3D <laughs> <laughs> It is lacking in dimension. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The previously described lack of nuance to the cereal flavor. You do have more jump control on this than a three <laughs> Mario. My thing is, the thing that it confuses me about this, and I guess it doesn't, confusing might be the wrong, like, description of this. Because we kind of understand cereal and what yeah. to expect from it? <laughs> is it? It's just such normal fucking cereal. Yeah. Then it's strange to, that it was like a special thing that they did. No, no, no. The specialness part of it was the fact that they put Mario on a cereal. The special part of it was not like, oh god, we've come up with this new revolution in cereal. Mm-hmm. We need someone to represent this like absolute <laughs> fundamental change to the cereal paradigm. And they called <laughs> Nintendo. It was like, yo, is Mario available? Yep. <laughs> It feels more like it's just a marketing thing. Mm-hmm. Like it's a limited edition by the Super Mario cereal. Well, I obviously agree with that. I didn't think that, like, ah, a nice, nutritious, hearty ball of <laughs> Super Mario <laughs> Brothers cereal. The No Club Podcast is a uh, part of your balanced <laughs> breakfast. Uh, but, okay, so here's another weird thing. Because mm-hmm. the box, the cereal box. Yeah. <laughs> it is also an amiibo. What? <laughs> of course it is. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know, but it does say that every Super Mario Zero box is an amiibo you can use to unlock special content to power up your Super Mario Odyssey adventure. Oh, so will like a cereal box just appear in the middle of the freaking oh, desert? So it's, a, it's an amiibo card yeah. on the box. You just okay. like oh. pop this up against a Switch controller. <laughs> I don't know. I like that it even has, like, a maze on the mm-hmm. back. Like, a traditional, like, kid cereal box. Mm-hmm. Right. Little toy thing. Yeah, I don't know, like, what era, like, like marketing uh, cereals to kids, like, really took off. But it this feels like a throwback to that. Yeah. The mm-hmm. Super Mario cereal. Because obviously some cereals I want to say are. 80s, but I don't know if that's accurate at all. <laughs> I'd say that's probably a fair... Because I feel like in the 90s is when the, like... Uh, sugary cereals are destroying the youth of America thing happened? I think that was, like, late 90s. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Then whenever they were like, we need to get rid of the supersize in sugar, or uh, cereal shouldn't have sugar in it anymore. Right. Man, that really fell pretty flat, huh? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we say as we consume Super Mario cereal, a new variant of Lucky Charms in 2018. I, I do feel like... There's something inherently nostalgic about eating the cereal. But it's like, that's because there's a 0% chance I'm going to go buy more of this. Right. <laughs> it's just eating cereal is just nostalgic to childhood for a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you mentioned forever ago that you consumed Count Chocula. Oh yeah. What is it like? I've never had it either. Really? Yeah, really. No. Um, have you had Chocolate Lucky Charms? No. I, was I, say, cause I it's didn't just, know that was a thing. Uh, it is. I was going to say, it's just like way better version of that. Hmm. Uh, it's it's like Lucky Charms, but like the cereal pieces are chocolate instead of corn, what, whatever, flavored. Uh, wheat pieces. Yes, the wheat pieces. <laughs> um, I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> well, um... Considering we probably don't have any final thoughts 
on the cereal that we're eating. Um, I guess, actually, there's one big question I think everybody needs to know, um, which is when... Because I I obviously poured all the cereal for you guys, (laughs) but typically, do you put the cereal in the bowl first and then the milk on top? Or or the opposite. Have you ev- have you ever met someone who does the opposite? I have, and the- implying that you put in the cereal first, right? As and do then I. The milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all do that. Yeah. yeah. the The argument is like a is a valid argument because it's if you put the milk in and then put the cereal on top, then you can start eating it immediately, and the cereal will never become soggy. Mm-hmm. See, I like it to get a little soft from the milk first. So do I. You guys are gross. Very gross. I'm not talking like, I don't want it to get soggy, but I want it to be like softened a little. See, see, you you ate it and you were like, oh, the pointy hard pieces. (laughs) Yeah. See, (laughs) that doesn't happen if you give it a second and you kind of like mix it around. The pointy cereal (laughs) shoe is on the other foot. (laughs) <laughs> the, the, the shoe with the spurs are on the other foot now. I'm kind of instead of that approach, I try and minimize the like unintentioned casual unintentional casualties uh, of putting a, like too much milk on cereal by just being a milky moderate. I'll like put like a, the smallest amount of milk possible at any given cereal, and always eat cereal from the bottom. So that I'm always eating like the wettest part of the cereal at the time, which is very dry because I just put the milk on. I feel like it's really difficult to do. Mm. Like you have to scoop it out <laughs> in like such a fashion that you push it to the edge and like flip the other cereal over what so you... that you're only getting the bottom part. No, no, this is you just push the spoon to the bottom. And yeah, and then you pull but you're up... gonna pull up the stuff that's above it too, so you're not really just getting the stuff from the bottom. Cereal isn't that's a custard. Right. It's not like <laughs> solid and connected in one piece. No, it, it, is, fall off. it is a mixture. Like it's a... <laughs> Uh, see, I prefer my cereal so soggy that it is more of an emulsion than anything else. Oh. It's kind of like a semi-solid <laughs> Don't talk to me gelatin. about emulsions. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would just be paranoid. I, would, I wouldn't know how much milk to put in. I would give that way too much thought if I put the milk in first. I'd be like, is this enough milk? <laughs> Maybe you should pour some back into the gallon. <laughs> it just yeah. strikes me as like bad for the same reasons that putting the water in before the ice in your ice water is bad? Like, doesn't it splash if you just dump the cereal in? Doesn't the milk get everywhere? No. How high do you, you can, guys you shake dump your cereal? cereal. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you would have to it would have to be really heavy cereal to cause a splash. Yeah. You have to be pouring it very recklessly. <laughs> no, it's like at the brim of the ball. You like can't let a single drop go to waste. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. I guess in almost all cereal commercials, they do have like a lot of really aggressive cereal pouring and yeah. splashing. <laughs> Gotta make it look exciting. That's true, yeah. Yeah, because they, they pour it from like the top of the Empire State Building into a bowl, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so you get that like dramatic slow motion cascade of, of cereal. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and close this out uh, with a few trivia questions from the back of the box. You guys ready? Yes. All right. All right. Never been more ready. Uh, which character trait describes Mario? A. Courageous. B. Shy. C. Mysterious. Or D. Naughty. <laughs> he, I think like he could be A, B, and C. Uh, I don't know where the answer key is, but I'm guessing that it's courageous. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, he doesn't talk, which means he could be kind of shy. So like a, he's also and courageous, and then he's also kind of mysterious because he doesn't talk. I feel like that's a deeper read on Mario <laughs> than they're going mm-hmm. for. Well, then courageous, I say. I don't even get courageous in the first place. I feel like I've talked about this on the cast before. Courageous does not... Like, I look at Mario and just think of, like, a happy guy. I don't think of, like, a hero. No matter how much all the games try and tell me he's a hero, I just don't believe them. All right, well, then Dude, we're he's like go... a blue-collar hero. <laughs> He's a folk hero. Yeah, he just kind of like, it's almost like a job to him. It's always been the read that I get on it. (laughs) Uh, What was Mario's original name? A, Mario. B, Mario. (laughs) (laughs) Jumpman, Wario, 
or Mr. Mustache. <laughs> Oh, it's not Mr. Stash? It's not. I, I believe it is Jumpman. Oh. Once again, answer key totally missing, so... No, oh, there's no answer key. I it's think it's not. On the, is it on the top of the box? Oh, is for it? answers, visit uh, kfr.com slash games. the internet now. Yeah. Wait, what, what the shit's KFR? Uh, I'm K- uh, Kellogg's Fry. Family Rewards. Oh, oh. This episode brought to you by Kellogg. <laughs> Check us out at noclip.com slash kfr <laughs> slash games. I don't know if I can do that. Can we just that. do no, noclip.com and then slash everything else that would be the URL <laughs> of this box? <laughs> Is that a thing you can do? I don't know how the internet works. Uh, who's Mario's brother and trusted sidekick? Luigi. Is it A, Bowser, B, Toad? C. Luigi or D. Shy Guy. I love, be shy guy. I love their D answers. They're, maybe that's the hidden lore is that Shy Guy is actually Mario's brother. <laughs> He's like the, the secret mysterious brother that they yeah. have in lots of bad kids' TV shows. Where like they, they take the mask off and they're like, oh no, you're my well, brother. He's also like really short. At, right. Like I, Maybe he's like a hunchback of Notre Dame scenario. He's deformed. Yeah, he's like a like a hunched over deformed Italian guy. <laughs> so he puts on the creepy mask and like walks around and Mario's like, ooh, like, and throws a fucking turnip like a, at him. They're like a whole race of them though. That is true. That that kind of throws a wrench in my mm-hmm. plan. Maybe he just he's very sexually active. Maybe. Okay, those are all his kids. Is there like a king shy guy? Like there's a king boo and a I king babam? I don't think so. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, which power-up causes Mario to become invincible? Uh, is Power it A, star. a fire flower, <laughs> B, a super mushroom, <laughs> C, a superstar, no, a super or D, a green shell? Why do you keep answering these immediately? <laughs> it's like, as if to show off I your I need knowledge. to know my, uh, show off. Ex- exactly the reason you just said. <laughs> this is like when Andy and I played um, Pokemon those... Stadium too. Yeah, and we did the po- the Pokemon trivia game, and like on hard, it was always just sort of like us just answering the questions as quickly as we can. Mm-hmm. When you put it on easy, it becomes like a reflex test <laughs> because like the answers are so apparent as soon as the thing starts. It was just who could identify and press the button fast. <laughs> And uh, we got to the, near the end of it, and it was a tie. And the last question comes up, and like we're, I'm fucking like sweating, <laughs> like wiping, wiping off my brow, holding the N64 controller, waiting for the the question to show up. And then uh, <laughs> it comes up, and it was just like, which of these Pokemon is green? And I like fucking hit the thing, and like it's like boom, player two gets the point. And I just like jump out of my seat, and I'm like, yeah. I know which Pokemon is green. <laughs> so easy trivia can still be fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we have anything else we want to talk about with Super Mario <laughs> Zero? Thank God this isn't being filmed. <laughs> I don't think so. Eh. Uh, I, I think we might have broken new ground. We might have found some nice... New verdant space we can enter as the No Clip Podcast. <laughs> as a serial <laughs> review podcast? Well, no, no, Nintendo spin off product. Yeah, video game serial review podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can. Next time we're going to review Pac Man serial. Oh, the yeah. 80s. I want to find some. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're on a kind of a. We're on a Nintendo hiatus right now. Uh, until after our Monster Hunter World episode, so this uh, it was before Monster Hunter right World. before our Monster Hunter World <laughs> episode. Thank you, Andy. Two, I think it's two episodes from right now, mm-hmm. something like that, uh, and that's why we've got to fill our very blood with Nintendo products. <laughs> exactly, hold this over. We're gonna yeah do one of those. So uh, thanks for listening to this incredibly stupid thing that we <laughs> chose to do. Uh, <laughs> Uh, until next time, you can get a hold of us at noclippodcast.com or splattershot.pro slash team eco. The jokes just keep going. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, what, are we, what are we talking about this time? Actually, this probably comes out after The Last Guardian does. Shit. What are we talking about next time? Uh, steal my line. <laughs> 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 okay, we're going to have a serious discussion about boundary issues next time. Uh, we're we're going to be talking about... Uh, 
Hollow Knight. That's what it is. Uh, and then... Shouldn't we just announce that at the end of the actual episode? <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> I feel like if you came for the serial content, you have to be but given, no like, something. But no one will. <laughs> at the end That's of true. this episode, or at the end of the episode we'll actually record today, we'll be like, tune in next time for our review of Super Mario Serial. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I give them time to secure the serial. Yeah. In case we need the extra two weeks, we can use this as a full episode. <laughs> Uh, but no yeah they'll already know but if they skip the last guardian but did show up for super mario (laughs) cereal now they'll know hollow knight's next on the agenda whatever (laughs) and on that note of depressing sadness we continue yep see you guys later bye Uh. Get that milk back in the fridge. Yeah, I don't want it to... I don't want milk smell on the podcast. (laughs) Don't you know this is an olfactory podcast? Nintendo cereal is a super part of this nutritious breakfast. Nintendo. It's for breakfast!